Hello friends, welcome back to my channel F Shake Excel Master and this is your friend Farah Shake. And today we are going to learn an amazing trick in Excel where we are going to extract the file names from the folders and the subfolders. There are ways to extract this information with the help of the VBA code. But we are going to skip all that hassle and we are going to extract the name without a macro code. And all the stuff we are going to just do it within 10 seconds. Let us assume that in your C drive you have this folder exercise files and you would like to extract all these file names into Excel so what we are going to do is that we are going to go to data and we are going to take the help of the power query and we are going to say from from folder so the my folder part should be the part which I am going to extract the data it's C drive and exercise file. I can copy this path and I can paste it over there. But I'll just like to show it to you from here. And I will select this PC and I'll select C drive. And if I just select C drive and I hit OK, it will select the entire drive. But we don't want to extract the entire range. And we will say exercise file, OK. And we will say OK again. As soon as I hit OK, you must have seen, I just got the sample records over here. We will select Edit. Great, we have all these file names extracted over here. And I will just go to my View and Query setting. It is such a great thing, my friends, that it extracts all the information that was the last date of access modified and created. You can keep this information based on your uh, criteria of what you're looking for. In our case, we don't need these columns. Last date modified. Yeah, maybe we need the path. Even we don't need the content. So I'm going to remove all these columns. And from the attribute columns, I'm going to say load more. Uncheck. I would need the kind and the size. And there are many other information if you would like to extract. So we have all this information over here now. And suppose you just like to select this path, which is exercise files. We can just go over here and uncheck all and check only the exercise file. We click OK. And uh, we don't need the kind also. And what we need is that we just need the file names so we are going to go to split columns select by delimiter and we are going to say it as customs yep we are going to say it as customs and we are going to say dot and the rightmost rightmost dot whatever is there just move it to a separate column Great, and we are going to remove it and we are going to say close and load. So once I select close and load, all the information is extracted over here and we have the file sizes and their names over here. So what about my friends if you would like to extract the subfolder file names, you would hit back again the query and say edit query. And when I will select the drop down, you can see only the file path name as C drive exercise file. The reason why, my friends, that it applies these steps. So whenever you make any changes to the query, it will apply those steps. And that's the reason we are not seeing that. So what we are going to do is the step which we have applied over here, the filtered row we are going to move it down so now once I move it down you can see this is the last step and I will just select all rate close and load you have your file names and the folder path here is it in this excel file there are many benefits when you extract the file names and their folder path where you can use the help of the hyperlink and you can just connect your file and you can get it open from this excel file itself 
Now let me show you one more thing my friends that in case if I have deleted this folder fonts okay just watch it carefully I don't need to do anything and just go to design and refresh and the power query has automatically removed this file and what about if I have added a folder back again let us reverse it back the deletion You go back to the power query again refresh we have those file names back again so my friends in case of VBA we would be having this code we need to run the code again to extract that file but in case of power query one simple click of refresh button will extract file names and their folder path so I hope my friends you have enjoyed this video so please push a like button share this video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button for the latest update because there are more amazing excel tricks going to come soon signing off for today your friend farah sheikh from f sheikh excel master